Today is Friday, September 25. Ecclesiastes, the source of our first reading, is a wonderful read. Quote, Of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Chapter 12, verse 12. The race is not always to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Chapter 9, verse 11. And Ecclesiastes' central theme, vanity of vanities. To think that we can know more than God or be God in our own lives. And yet, we must not receive this word as disparaging or demeaning. Quite the contrary. In this word, God calls us to hopefulness. From tomorrow's reading, also from Ecclesiastes, Rejoice, you who are young, and let your heart be glad in the days of your youth. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days to come, and the years approach of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Perhaps some of us can remember the days of our youth when we were glad. Others of you who are young now know the joy of your youth. Yet, perhaps many of us can say that evil days have come and that we have no pleasure in them. If so, we need to hear with new acuity the closing sentences of today's reading. God has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into our hearts without our ever discovering from the beginning to the end the work which God has done. How extraordinary! Can you, can we believe that God has put the timeless not only into our hearts, but into the life and events and people of our own time, all for good purpose? In today's Gospel, Jesus tells his disciples that the time has arrived for him to head to Jerusalem, that the great work of his life may be accomplished. This text appears midway through chapter 9, and Jesus does not arrive in Jerusalem until chapter 19. So even the great works of the divine power take their appointed time to be made manifest and completed. Just what Ecclesiastes tells us. Let's pray today for a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit on our country, as in a new Pentecost, that God's will may be done, that good prevail, that justice be done, that the poor, the imprisoned, and the rejected rejoice, and that we trust yet more deeply that God has made everything appropriate to its time, and that God will put the timeless into our hearts without our ever discovering from the beginning to the end the work which God has done.